from all of us at Lauren Lavalis School, we wish you a big sunny hello. We hope you're all safe and well. We miss the smiling faces of the children and can't wait for them to return. We're living in uncertain times and it's confusing what with daily changes and updates, latest restrictions, LGAs of concern and testing. So we want to stay in touch with you all in the best way that we can, giving support to one another. If you have any questions or need of support, we're happy to hear from you. As you know, New South Wales Government COVID restrictions and precautions were put in place at the end of term two. This had an immediate impact on classes and events. Stay-at-home restrictions were extended and the latest easing of the lockdown won't be a reality until the end of September. Remote learning has now become a fixture in our educational landscape. Despite its limitations, online learning has been embraced by our staff who are working to ensure that, as far as possible, the children and students' needs are being met in keeping with our Steiner teaching practice. On-site learning is being offered to a small number of children of essential workers. Sadly, our, our exciting class trips program has been disrupted yet again. If opportunities present themselves, class teachers and guardians will be taking classes into the field in term four, COVID restrictions permitting. We've also had to postpone our 50th anniversary spring celebrations until, until autumn next year. David Jacobson's lecture presentation on architecture of the school has also been postponed. In the meantime, time, however, the school grounds are being well cared for. We have built a little kindy open air extension and planted a garden around it, tended to a burn off and are building steps down to the high school. I wish to extend the school's appreciation and acknowledgement of the staff and their caring service. The teachers, working with such enthusiasm with their student charges and their families, and the office staff coming in daily, working on the front line, answering queries, keeping the school running while negotiating the latest compliance and regulatory changes. We also wish to acknowledge the dedication and patience of you, the parents, working with the children at home while balancing the needs of your own profession. We are yet to be informed how and when the stay-at-home restrictions will be lifted. Let's talk about a staggered return of classes in Term 4. But with mutual support, clear minds and a settled heart, we'll find a way through these difficult times. In the years of serious social disruption, Rudolf Steiner offered his audiences some wise words which I wish to share. We must eradicate from the soul all fear and terror of what comes towards us out of the future. We must acquire serenity in all feelings and sensations about the future. We must look forward with absolute equanimity to everything that may come and we must think only that whatever comes is given to us by a world directive full of wisdom. It is part of what we must learn in this age, namely to live out of pure trust. Without any security in existence, Trust in the ever-present help of the spiritual world. Truly, nothing else will do if our courage is not to fail us. And let us seek the awakening from within ourselves every morning and every evening. So 
So, for, so from Lauren Navalis, we wish you well and hope to see you soon.